All right, buckle in my friends. It's the Sephora Spring VIB sale and I have got some fantastic products to share with you. A lot of them I've never shown on my channel before. So stay tuned. We're going to get into it right now. Hello, my friends. I am very happy to be doing a review of the products that I have been absolutely loving from Sephora, specifically from Sephora. I tried very hard to keep these products, ones that you could really only get from Sephora unless you actually ordered off of their particular websites. And I also tried to keep this no Sephora items, Sephora collection items here. I do have two videos previous to this one. One I just barely did where we did 25 products under $20 from Sephora. I'll make sure that I link that below. Try to remember to put it up here in a card if I can. And the other one is I did a whole full face last fall with using just Sephora collection products. So I'll make sure that those two videos are linked for you. But I also have other Sephora favorites through the years that I have done. I've been on here for six years. So I do have those as well. Now, one thing that you need to know is that the way that I do my videos is I number each product. So if you are interested in a product, say you're interested in number five, which might be a foundation or a concealer or whatever, jot down just that number. Then you can go into the description box. You can find that number and very easily shop today if that's what you want to do. And if you do shop my links, I always say thank you so much because I do earn a small commission off of those. So enough of that. Let's get right into the products. The first thing I want to do is talk about fragrance. And those are the Huda Beauty KLE fragrances. I absolutely love these. I cannot read what this is, but I'll make sure that it goes up here on the screen. The one that I'm loving right now, this is a duo rollerball that I believe I got last year. So it might not be available, but you can get single rollerballs and then you can also get the mini size. This is a very expensive perfume as far as what I normally spend on perfumes, but for me, these fragrances are so long lasting that it is just amazing. I can put this on in the morning and then in the evening, I still smell it personally, not just people walking past me or anything. As a matter of fact, people do stop me when I wear this because the fragrance is just so lovely. They're very vanilla-y based, so like warm vanilla fragrances. And this one is citrus. I have the little one of that one love these fragrances and i think that my favorite ones are the actual vanilla one it's just so lovely but i loved i have loved having these i would love to purchase some more of the fragrances just to see what they're all about but these are just yummy and they're really really good as far as lasting power now i'm not going to talk a lot about any skincare but i do want to talk about one of my very favorites and that is from glow recipe the watermelon glow pink dream body cream this is such a luxurious lovely it just spit at me lovely watermelon fragranced cream besides having that amazing watermelon fragrance I that I absolutely love. It just sinks into your skin and gives you so much hydration. I love using this right before bed because it just gives me this calming, yummy feel of, you know, that watermelon fragrance. And then also I love to be able to treat my hands and I usually bring all of my skincare up my hands. So this is a last step kind of locks all of that in, which I really do love. It's a big bottle. And personally, I think that this was well worth it for me. I just have been enjoying not just the cream, but the fragrance really has sucked me in. I really love it. So if you don't like fragrance, just, just know that this has a very, very strong watermelon fragrance. To me, it's just like a watermelon Jolly Rancher, so I love it. I don't have a lot of primers to talk about. I am going to tell you that the Vanish Airbrush Primer, the new one from Hourglass, is really wonderful. I like it very much. I like it as much as I like my Tatcha, but I did show very recently that I do feel like there is a dupe. I'll link that video as well. I do feel like there is a dupe to it. It has a very different texture than their original one. Their original one was very slick. It had a lot of dimethicone in it. This one is a little bit more hydrating. It does blur out your pores. By the way, I will tell you what I have on my face as we go along. And yes, this is my primer for today. But 
it just sinks in so well and as you're patting it in it really helps with those pores and being able to really make your skin look smooth and prepare it for foundation but i do feel like it makes my foundation last longer all right now for foundations i have a lot these are the ones that i thought these will be really good for you to try let's start with probably the most expensive i have the dior forever glow and i have the forever matte version of it i have the matte version on today on this side i have a lot of glow because i'm going to show you what i use for my glow but i love these i think that's so good and then i got a darker version in the glow one for summer these are so good you really can't go wrong with these foundations by the way i my skin type um i'm 53 years old and i have wrinkles fine lines i have a tiny bit of texture because my skin is starting to sag so i have some texture and some large pores around here and i have dry skin and then in the summertime even though I have dry skin I do still get a little combo skin right through here that breaks up just a little bit this is fantastic for me this is a full coverage foundation on either one that you use so you know that but I really like these I love them on my mature skin I don't feel break apart oxidation texture anything like that as a matter of fact that will be the theme of all of these and I'm gonna I'm showing you the full coverage ones first the LYS triple fix serum foundation actually I feel like this is the medium buildable coverage this one is really good this is probably the most affordable one of the ones I'm going to show you it just is one of those ones that I can put it on I don't feel like I have to fuss with it I don't feel like I need and you know what when I'm going to buy a high-end foundation that's my number one criteria I don't want to have to fuss with it if I'm going to spend a lot of money I don't want to have to fuss with the foundation and all of these I feel like deliver that really well so the LYS, again, is just one of those ones that has the serum benefits in it, and I feel like it lays very pretty across my mature skin. I feel like this is very long-wearing as well. This one I can have on for 12 to 14 hours and not miss a beat with it. So this one is really good. And then I also did want to tell you in this video that I did try the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is a very pretty foundation, but I will tell you that I do feel like this is a light to medium coverage. And and if you build it, you can really only get to build, build it to medium. But this one for me is beautiful on those days when I don't necessarily need full coverage, where I want all of my sunspots and my blemishes to be covered up. This is a really pretty one. Again, very, very long wearing. NARS is known for that. And I think they do a great job of that. This one and the other one I'm going to mention from Fenty Beauty. You can get these at Ulta, but I wanted to, to talk about them for Sephora because a lot of people just love shopping at Sephora. Now the Fenty Ease Drops, I feel like this is a medium to buildable high coverage, but this is super duper lightweight. I mean, this is one that, and, and actually the NARS is an extremely lightweight one as well. This one, you won't hardly feel like you have anything on, but this one covers fantastic. I am somebody that likes full coverage. I have a lot of blotchiness on my skin, a lot of darkness in areas. I like to have a very even canvas. So this one I feel like really does that. I feel like this one is a little bit more matte. The light reflecting one, I feel like that's a little bit more glowy. Um, I should have been telling you this already. The LYS one, I feel like that one is a little bit matte. And then the Dior ones, those kind of, you know, the glow and then the matte, you kind of figure that out. But I do love this one for like a semi matte, almost a satin finish. So in the summertime, I reach for this a lot because I get good coverage and I get it not to be too glowy where I'm going to, you know, if I sweat, it's going to show and it's just going to look greasy. This is beautiful. And then another one that I tried for you guys is the Makeup Forever, the new HD Skin. This is so beautiful this is actually what i'm wearing all over today this is a little bit light for me the color i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna exchange it for a better color a little bit darker color but i really love this this is makeup that makes me feel like i'm completely flawless but it doesn't feel like makeup and i really think this is just beautiful this makes your skin look gorgeous you can you know press it in on places where you have need a little bit more, more coverage and that for me is right here on my cheeks where i have discoloration redness and it just 
it's beautiful. I really love this. And I feel like, again, I feel like this one is a satin bordering on dewy, but more satin. And then my number one pick, I, I feel like, is the new Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. I love this because of my dry skin. This covers like a dream. I do not have to fuss with it. I do not have to put a second coat anywhere. It just looks gorgeous, but this is a glowy foundation that I do have to set down with a powder. So you know that. This is an incredibly gorgeous foundation. This is the only one, well, that's not true. This one and the Fenty one are the two squeeze tubes. So the Fenty doesn't have a pump either. These both have squeeze tubes. That doesn't bother me as long as you can keep it clean, which you know, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, but I haven't had too much of a problem with this one yet. But long wearing, very, very long wearing and looks gorgeous at the end of the day for me, um, especially since as the day goes on, my skin will get drier and suck everything in and we have a very dry, arid climate where I live. So it really is a gorgeous foundation, no texture, no oxidation, just absolutely beautiful. I've been blown away by that. As far as a um, some concealer that I love, I have so many that I absolutely love, but I'm just going to mention three. The Dior Forever Skin Corrector. I think this is a fantastic one. This is the one I have on, and I actually have it on in conjunction with the Rare Beauty one. I put the Rare Beauty right here because the one I have is super light. Um, and then I put the Dior one out this way. So I really do love both of these. Um, the Rare Beauty one has quite a large doe foot, not super, I guess it's not long. It's more of a squatty one and it does have a little well in there where it will pick up a little bit more. And then the Dior Forever one is quite large and a lot comes out on that one. So if you use a very tiny, tiny amount of that, just beware that you don't want to, you know, glop that on with the doe foot applicator. But both of these, I feel like the Rare Beauty one is more matte, whereas the Dior one is really good for my wrinkles. So if I stick with the Rare Beauty one right here, just to give light, it does that a really great job of that. And then the Dior one out here doesn't show up any of my crinkles or settle into lines or anything like that. I love that. And I did grab this one from Urban Decay. This is their Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. This one I have absolutely gone head over heels in love with. I love this one almost as much as I love Kosas. Now, I didn't put Kosas in here because you guys have heard me talk about it so many times. Times. I know you're just sick of it. I tried to stick with things that we really haven't talked about very much before here on my channel. So the Stay Naked from Urban Decay, and it's the color correcting one. The other one just doesn't work that well, but this one is so beautiful. None of these settle into my fine lines and wrinkles, and these two, the Dior and the Urban Decay, both of those are are very nice for not drying me out underneath my eyes. Um, this one, a little bit more drying. So if you do have that combo skin or you sweat underneath your eyes, this one from Rare Beauty might be just right for you. All right, I didn't choose a lot of powders. I just chose the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. This one for me just works so well. It's so light, it's so airy, and it doesn't ever build up and look cakey. I can touch up with it through the day. It comes in different colors. I just, it's my favorite favorite. I do have the Dior Forever Skin one as well, and I do like that, but I think I love the Kosas so much more, and though that's really the only one that I like a lot because it doesn't really make me look cakey at all. And then I've talked about this many times on my channel before too, but the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. The Airbrush Fla Flawless Fitting, whoa, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I love this stuff. It will melt all of the powder makeup that you put on in into a seamless look. I really drench my skin with this. I don't necessarily feel that this gives a longevity to my skin, but it really, to my foundation or my makeup, but it really does make my skin look flawless. It has these little polymers in it or these little particles in it that just give that airbrush look to your face. This is a must have for me. It is one that I just, I reach for over and over again. I love it so much. Now let's just talk about a couple of tools from Hourglass. I love this dual setting. Um, I'm sorry, it's a blush and highlighter 
brush. I, this is one of my favorites ever. I adore this thing. I use this probably more than any other brushes for blush. It will pick up cream. It will pick up powder. It doesn't matter what you use. It will pick it up. And the same goes for this side that I use for my highlighter. It just is a gorgeous brush that has last, not lost any hairs, washes up like a dream. It's one of my favorites. And then I have talked about this before as well. This is from the Sephora collection, this is the Pro Concealer 71 brush. And this one is very much like the Angie Hot and Flashy and BK Beauty brush for concealer that everybody went gaga for. It, it is a beautiful brush, but I want you to know that you can get the single here during the sale at Sephora. And then the only product that I really want to highly recommend for contour or bronzing is the Danessa Myricks Contour Balm Cream Product. It has last me forever. I don't know how long ago I got this. I know it's well over a year. It's last and last, and it does have a great big divot in it, but I haven't hit pan yet on it, and it just keeps going and going, and it makes the most beautiful bronzer contour uh, hybrid for me because this really isn't a perfect contour color if I was going to really go in for contour. It's got a lot of that red property in it that you want in a bronzer when you want cool tone, but I definitely can get away with using it as a contour slash bronzer because it does have a cooler tone to it. I believe that this is the lightest one she has. I'll make sure that I link, I list that below or I put it here on the screen, but this is a product that I just fell in love with as soon as I used it because it's so easy to blend out and it just works into my skin and gives the most beautiful glow. It is what I have on today for that bronzer look and I just have loved this for such a long time. Now next, blushes. If you're looking for great powder blushes, Makeup by Mario. His powder brush blushes are so good. This one is right here is called Mellow Mauve. Very, very just easy blush to wear. I actually wore both of these today because I wanted to kind of get a feel for both of them and have them both on my skin. Very neutral looking blush. Really like that one. And then this one is Poppy Pink. Super bright. I really love this one. Actually, my friend Kimberly is the one that kind of got me into trying that one. And I do love that. I think it's so pretty as well. It's a little bit more than what I would normally wear, but wow, it's look at how much comes out there. It's so pretty. But I just think that on the cheeks, it's one of those ones that really can brighten up your look and just make you feel um, just springy and happy. And these are great ones as far as powder goes. They stay on for a long time. And then I want to recommend again these ones from Patrick Ta. So here's the two that I have that I absolutely adore. And the first one is Oh She's Different. This is kind of a very deepened mauve berry. Um, if you've never seen these before, he has a powder product up here and then he has a little um, plastic piece right here, excuse me, that covers up the balm-like or the cream product that he uses. Now he does this different than most makeup artists do. He puts the powder product on and then the cream product. It works. A lot of people are like, I can't do that. I can't put a powder on before cream. It works every time. And then this one is She's That Girl. And this is my very favorite because it's that cool tone pink or medium pink, whichever we want to call it, that just works so well on so many different people's skin tone. And it's a very, very pretty blush, especially, especially when you layer it together. It's just so pretty. And it it becomes very, very budge proof putting the two of them on like that. And then when you put the cream on after the powder, it just seems to also leave a beautiful glow to your skin. So beautiful formula lasts a long time. I have two different highlighters I wanted to talk about. The one from Rare Beauty, the illuminating one, and this is so pretty. Now I absolutely adore the color I have. It's Enchant, but every time I go look for it to link it for you guys, it's out. But it's so pretty. This is what I have on as my highlighter today. You can really you know, buff this out to where there's hardly any, or you can really build it up like that. And it is so pretty underneath blush. That's how I do my highlights. I put it underneath blush. And this one is no exception for being something that is just absolutely stunning. And then I also have the one from SIE. I guess that's how you say it, SIE. I'm not sure how everybody says. We don't know how to say it, but it's pretty. This one is such a beautiful formula 
for giving you just a soft glow. You can mix this into your foundation. You can put this one um, on top of your foundation if you want to. You can put it on top of your blush, under your blush, whatever you want to do. This is so thin and I really love that about it, but it's going to give you an extremely soft, soft glow. So it's looking like, you know, it's got a lot of reflect to it like the Rare Beauty does. It doesn't. It's very soft. So think Essence Pure Nude Highlighter that is just super duper soft, barely hardly any glow about it, just a really soft candlelight look about it. Think that when you're thinking about this one. All right, I'm not going to give a lot of recommendations about palettes. I absolutely love the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. This is what I did my look out of today. This is one that is absolutely gorgeous. Been talked about a bunch. The Rose Quartz from Huda Beauty is still one of my very, very favorites. I think this is one that everybody adores. It just makes just such gorgeous, easy looks. And then, if you can and you want to pick up the little five pan minis, I have, let's see, I have the mini crush. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the mini crush is the one that comes with that little brush. And then I have the mini love. And again, both of these are very much along the lines of the pink burgundy theme that you see with me all the time except for this one and this one is the retro this one has so many possibilities and i love wearing this on just an everyday you know out the door really fast beautiful like a almost an army green olivey green color right there that is really cool toned and i like that one so much too let me see if i can just swatch that one for you. Look how that, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and then I wanted to recommend one that I have never talked about on my channel before. This one is from Ilya. Ilya sent me this probably a year ago, and I have never talked about it on my channel, but it's a really beautiful neutral palette. They have a warm and a cool. This is supposed to be their cool. Personally, I feel like this one could be just considered neutral because it's not got a lot of grays or a lot of really neutral colors in it as far as just really being hit the spot with your neutrals, if that makes any sense. But it really is pretty and it has a very softer, whoops, there's nothing on that finger. It has a very softer look to it, can be built up, gorgeous formula. This is an eyeshadow that really does stick around a long time. And I like that it just has six pans and you're done. And so this has been a one that I've reached for several times and I just keep forgetting to talk about it, partly because it's pretty darned expensive. I'm not, you know, I'm not somebody that really does that on my channel a lot. But when we're talking about the sale and you can get a percentage off of it, definitely one that I do love. Mascara, there's only two that I'm going to recommend and I can't find my, my other one. I'm recommending the rare beauty mascara i really like this this is what i have on today the um i'm gonna get the full size because for me and the way my hands shake and everything i need that to be elongated out of here they really could have just made this lid a lot shorter and then had a little bit longer brush and wand there which would have been perfect but this builds and it thickens and that's really what's beautiful about it is that it really does thicken your lashes and it is what i have on today and what has built up my lashes the other one is the new charlotte tilbury i think it's the pillow talk that one i love i you know me i don't go out for charlotte tilbury very often but the setting spray and that new um mascara is just i love both of them wrap it up with lip products and the only lip liner that I have tried that I love from there is from Pat McGrath. And this one is in Cosmic Vibes. It is what I have on today. It's absolutely beautiful. It has more of a lilac property. It's called lilac on her site. But as far as I know, that is not a lilac. It's not even a purple. It's more of a burgundy or a deepened crimson color but it works really good on my lips. And then on top of that, I did use this one from Huda Beauty and it is called Buttercup. And then the other one is called Angel. I love both of these. They're so beautiful. Okay, so I swatched them on this hand. This one right here is Buttercup on this side and then Angel on this side. So there they are. And they're both very pretty. They're both very um, emollient. They're creamy. They're very pretty. And I just have really liked that one, the Buttercup one, for 
giving me a nude lip with any liner that I use. And then Angel is just a little bit more pink right there. It's kind of still along the lines of nude, but it's still got a little bit more pink in it. And that's the last of it. That was a lot of products, but I definitely wanted to show you products that I hadn't really talked very much about before. So I hope that you're having a great day. Enjoy the sale. Let me know in the comment section what you plan to pick up. If there's anything that I showed you here today that you might enjoy or think you might enjoy, I'd love to hear that from you. Thank you for being with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your week or weekend, wherever this does hit you. Take care of yourselves. I love you very much. Come back in my next video and we'll have a good time again. Goodbye, my friends.